today we go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the Skywalker Saga. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, Episode 9 will bring a return of many legacy characters, such as Luke Skywalker, Lando Calrissian, and yes, even Leia, by use of unused footage from both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, in which Carrie Fisher portrayed the character. So I do have to thank J.J. Abrams for doing that, but looking at episode 9, the fact that a lot of prequel trilogy continuity will be inserted into this film, as well as original trilogy stuff, a lot of people have been wondering as to what is going to be the overall running time, or the runtime of Star Wars episode 9. Now, there's been a lot of talk, and a lot of people have been hearing about this these past couple of weeks, that J.J. Abrams, Disney, Lucasfilm may very well make this the longest Star Wars movie movie to date, not within the sequel trilogy, but out of all the Skywalker Saga films. Now, to me, I think that this is a necessity. Call me crazy, but I think that a movie for Star Wars Episode Nine, such as this film, I think that it would be amazing if we got a film that was two hours and 40 some minutes. This way we could put a lot of stuff in there, tell a lot of stories of the past, present, and maybe even the future if they mess around with the concept of flash forwards where they get these different flash forwards and they have to do this and that in order to prevent that and we could very well get that kind of dynamic in episode 9. We also know that this film is going to have the most characters out of every Star Wars movie and it will have the most planets out of every Star Wars movie to date. So the fact that, you know, they're toying around the idea of making this the longest Star Wars movie out of all the Skywalker Saga films, to me it just makes sense and I personally think that it's a must because we've been going over a big discussion on whether or not it would be a great idea if Disney and Lucasfilm decided to make a part two to Star Wars Episode 9, whether it would actually be called Episode 9 Part 2 or just Star Wars Episode 10 and ending the Skywalker saga on an even number right there. I mean, how cool would that sound when you say that? Going to go ahead and see Star Wars X in theaters. It kind of sounds really neat and I think that would be a great way to market it, but Looking at episode 9 and all, I think that the fact that they are aiming at making this the longest Star Wars movie in history so far is a great thing. Now, they did this with The Last Jedi, but not by much. I believe it maxed out at, what was it, 2 hours and 15 or 18 minutes or something around those lines? For me, let's put on an extra 20-some minutes to the final film of the Skywalker Saga in order to insert a lot of major cameos that'll make a whole lot of sense and actually add things to the overall plot and be able to move it forward. For me, I think in order to tell a real detailed story with an episode 9 is to make it a very long film in comparison to The Last Jedi. Now, the thing here is this, if you look at The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, there's no time, there's no time jump in between those two movies, so you're not seeing the significant jumps in character development when it comes to Kylo Ren and Rey. Sure, Kylo Ren, you know, Ryan Johnson messed with the whole shedding of layers format in The Last Jedi where he gets rid of his helmet, he's pretty much abandoning the whole entire, you know, wannabe style thing, and now he's his own thing as Supreme Leader Ren, the exact ruler of the First Order. So, with that being said, those two movies are so close to each other, it just feels like that now with episode 9 being the first film to make a major time jump, there's a lot to be told. Not only with Kylo Ren, but also with Rey and all the different legacy characters that are coming into this film. You gotta remember, if Luke Skywalker is coming back in the form of a Force ghost, what has Luke been up to in between The Last Jedi and episode 9? Has he been talking to Rey? Has he been? actually with Kylo Ren talking to him. That's another big question open on the table for discussion. Now, with Luke's return, right, whether it's going to be in the form of flashbacks or a force ghost or both, or maybe even J.J. Abrams would mess around with the idea of bringing him back to life as we have gone over in part one and part two of the videos that I did about Luke coming back to life and a shocking way that they could really actually make it work by use of the original Star Wars Return of the Jedi script, the early script. So, 
The thing for me is I feel it's pretty much a must in order to make this film very, very long in length. I would say two hours and 40 minutes, two hours and 45 even, I think would be great. Again, this is the final film of the Skywalker saga. It's gotta be special, it's gotta go all out, and it's, it's really gotta be, you know, a movie that's gonna hit a lot of fans' hearts with a lot of cameos such as Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan, you name it. It's gotta have a lot of that in there, and it actually has to carry substance if they do insert those cameos. You can't just throw it in there for no reason. It needs to be in there for a specific, real reason where it actually has value of its appearance. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.